Good morning everyone, it's Maxine here from Northumberland Zoo. Thank you for tuning in and today is the day. Uh, today is the day that we have the little competition between our mate and staff. The zoo's closed so it does look very very different in our cafe. There's literally nothing in here. Um, but we've got a little setup ready. Um, so in here, I'll show you. We've got all of our little sands ready to go which look dead smart and uh, you might be wondering what on earth are we going to do with them well today we're going to challenge our maintenance staff to create a western themed guinea pig village and we've been hard at work trying to come up with a very very specific type of parameters so that each maintenance person works those specifications and we build a modular guinea pig village that fits together so it's going to be a little competition between them to see who builds the nicest one as long as they follow the parameters everything will fit together in the end so let's take a look <music> Guinea Pig Western Town is modular, which means that all the buildings in it have to follow a certain set of specifications. The most basic build is a single story build and it's square, and this applies to the blacksmith, the mercantile, the barber shop, the sheriff's office, the bank, and the doctors. And just like in old Western towns, they can add a fascia if they want to, and it can be any shape that they want to make it, as long as the provided signs can fit on the front of their buildings. We really want Hog Springs to be super special, so we even custom designed all of the signage in-house, adding cute little features like our little horseshoe, guinea pig feet shaped shoes to go on the stable sign, and cut it out on our laser cutter. Each sign has been hand painted and finished, ready for the competition. The basic builds are all square, featuring your usual doors and windows. And then if they want to, the team can add a fascia on top of the building. They also have flat roofs so that we can put little ramps on so that the guinea pigs can sit on top of the roofs. The overall build can be made from whatever materials that our team can scrounge around and find on site. This is a proper zoo yard wars. The overall dimensions of the footprint of the standard build is two foot square with an eight inch additional add on for the patio if they build one. The height of the building to the roof is 15 inches. All doors are six inches wide by eight inches tall and the fascias are maximum five inches tall at any point and the windows are four inches square. So with these specifications, our team can then decide exactly what they want to do and how they want to build it. As long as they fit in with these parameters, then all of these buildings will look like they were built together to be in the same town. Well, that's the idea anyways. We'll see what happens. Now it's time for the team to pick their builds. The maintenance guys have no idea exactly what it is that they're going to be doing today, so we've completely surprised them. But I think this will be a great test for their creativity and the problem solving skills of building something so small. We're used to building really, really big stuff here at the zoo, but to build something on a little minute scale, I think will be quite fun and it'll really show off each individual's talents. Before we get started, let me introduce the team. We've got Brian, who's the zoo director, who can build anything. Keith, who's been with us for a long time. He's a perfectionist and loves the details. Paul, who's a part-time maintenance, and today's his last day. Ellie, who's a new starter, which is already showing great skills. And Jeff and Connor, who are the underdogs. They are our groundskeepers, so they're just in it for the crack. After introducing the task that they were going to be tackling that day, the team then got to take turns picking a number from a cowboy hat, obviously, which corresponded to the building that they were going to build. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Steve, he's just doing it. Steve, he's just doing it. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, like, so got you got bank. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I got two. Oh, you're not supposed to take two. Well, I'm the best, so I'd probably build two. Seven. 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 You got sales. Ooh. Oh, I've done four. No four. Doctor. <laughs> The cute ramens is good for the children. Mercantile! Is that a shop? Is that a shop? Where is that? What? Where's my stuff? 
Go. Go. We're fighting. Go. Let's 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 go.
There's still a pile of wood over here, but we'll just ignore that. Um, we've got all day, loads of time, and uh, Paul here has got his basic structure all made up already. Um, Keith didn't read the specifications, so he's already had to redo the size of his footprint, but that's done. And uh, Ellie has got the front end of her bank there ready. Um, so yeah, it's a great start. Yeah, it's got a lot of ideas. It's just uh, trying to put them in some sort of order to get them out of here. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I've done the frame, I've done the basic outline, there's a mirror from the top. And plans. Get the big bits done first, and then I can fiddle on all day with the little fancy bits. No, that's good. Ryan. Which is not Is it square? 24 by 24. Well, 25 by 25. Not allowed. 25 by 25. How have you ended up with 25 by 25? Um, he did something with that. Yeah. Oh. Well, that's all the time we've got for this week's episode, so be sure to tune in again next week to see how the team gets on with their builds. Do drop a comment below with any of your favourites or any comments you've got about our builds in our competition. And if you haven't done already, please do like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Every little helps support us develop. Please remember that this project is just for fun and it's a great thing to do while we're closed. We can't wait for you to see our Hog Springs guinea pig village. See you next week.